My name is Lily, and I'm going to be talking about social media influencers. Firstly, I define a social media influencer as someone with a large online following on any site. These people are usually building a career from being on that site, and they do this by either selling a product, creating content for viewers to watch, read, or simply look at, and they can have a combination of making, selling, and reviewing, as well as the con making content. YouTubers have sponsors, influencers on Instagram are paid per post review products. There are also artists that promote their artwork online through Tumblr or Instagram while actually selling them through sites like Etsy and Redbubble. Uh, the site pixely.com defines a social media influencer as a user on social media who has established credibility in a specific industry. A social media influencer has access to a large audience and can persuade others by virtue of their authenticity and reach. Influencers do exactly what their title describes. They influence their followers with their personalities and lifestyles. Usually the influencers show a lot of their faces and lives through online through Instagram or Snapchat stories or vlogs on YouTube. It has become very popular for social media influencers to cross promote on multiple sites, adding their YouTube video links to their Instagram bios and asking viewers to swipe up on the Snapchat stories or on Instagram stories since uh, Instagram's copying Snapchat a little bit. Through building their online followings, influencers ask for follows and likes. A common tag in YouTube videos is the creator asking the viewer to like, comment, and subscribe, and more recently, because of YouTube's algorithm change, uh, is to press the notification bell to tell the viewer of more recent postings. As pages become more and more popular, the influencers will, depending on their content and their specific in industry, as the Pixie Lee definition says, they will create merchandise to sell to their followers and fans. Putting followers and product sales aside, the other large part of social media influencers is influencer marketing. And goldfish.com describes influencer marketing as when a business pairs up with a social media personality to promote a service, product, or campaign. This happens on different sites and partnerships can come from a company sending an influencer a free sample for review or a company contacting an influencer and paying them to make a post and promoting the product. This can go well or it can go terribly wrong. Some examples uh, from an infographic by socialmediatoday.com are the ad Selena Gomez posted with uh, Coca-Cola for the Share Coke Share song in which she wore a red shirt and posted her drinking Coke and it became one of, uh, I think, the most uh, liked Instagram photo for a little bit and it was a very successful for Coca-Cola. Well, on the other hand, other celebrities have been caught making off-handed mistakes like Scott Disick did when he was paid by a booty to make a post about their product and he was caught copying and pasting the directions to post it at 4 o'clock and it made them look like they were trying to manipulate viewers. There is of course the good and bad influencers and the bad influencers just like we have in our own lives. Good influencers are those who promote themselves well in a manner that draws people in to be inspired. Bad influencers are those who have become famous due to doing something is tasteful and it racks up views and shares like Logan Paul's scandal over filming in Japan's suicide forest and posting the video online which included him standing next to a dead body. Being an influencer doesn't mean that the person posts every day about what they've worn and where they ate for lunch. Being an influencer means leading people through being in their industry like fitness, fashion, travel, home life, and etc. in a way that makes not only the influencers successful but their followers do. With the rise of social media success and the opportunities to become small business owners online, these influencers are everywhere and there are a lot of them and it is important to really watch who you're following online and, and how they conduct themselves, how they treat their followers and make sure that they're really someone you want to take advice from and not feel guilty of being a fan of. And that's all about social media influencers. Thanks for watching.